Hello, hello, beautiful people. Welcome back to a brand new video. Today, we're going to be taking a look at the Hunter rumors. We're going to be doing a loot from 100 master tier rumors, which are the rumors that require you to have a level 91 Hunter. We're going to be taking a look at XP per hour, but also money per hour. And all in all, if this brand new hunting activity is any fun to begin with. Throughout the journey of this video, I will also be showcasing some cool tricks, which are basically going to help you block specific tasks that are unwanted. And you will be able to go through the learning process that I took in order to get my very first 100 rumors completed. That being said, let's stop yapping, let's get right into the video. Alright, so Hunter episode. What is there to do with Hunter's Guild in Varlemor? In the last episode, I did a lot of things about Perilius Moons. In this episode, we're gonna be focusing on Hunter. Now, I am on a maxed account, so I don't really care about XP, but there is actually quite a lot of money to be made with Hunter right now, and there's a lot of incentive to do Hunter contracts basically in order to unlock different things about the game but first thing I want to do is I want to speak to Guildmaster Apatura if you have max cape or 99 hunter I believe you can speak to this person and you can unlock a teleport there we go I think that was it and then the second thing I actually wanted to do is to make a bunch of pouches now if you do have four fox first you can use needle on it and you can create a small mid pouch and three sunlight antelope first you can now make it into a medium meat pouch. Oh, never mind. This makes it straight into the large one. Pardon me. Uh, and now we can also make the other variant, which is a fur pouch. Uh, so we used four Larupia. We used three Grachfur. And now we use three Tati Kayat fur. I don't think it should be Tati. So now when we're doing any sort of hunting, I can fill all the meat we get from the mumps into this meat pouch and all the fur into the fur pouch, which is also gonna be nice little money on the side. Very cool. Now, if you do not know what this is all about, by going under the Hunter's Guild, you can then speak to your uh, guild hunter. Uh, you can ask him for a rumor. And as you can see, I already have one at the moment. And this rumor is about a Moonlight Antelope. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and hunt a bunch of Moonlight Antelope until it drops me a special hoof and we're gonna see how long this takes me how much xp is each one of those 450 is that good i don't really know cool part is you see we now have the raw antelope we now have the fur as well i can now go ahead and just click this boom boom and now it's in my pouches and that is it we now have an antelope hoof shard but if i put in the rumor we should be getting some bonus XP. So 6.2k bonus XP there. And we also get the loot sack. Two red cellies, already got it. Oh, that's very interesting. You can also get the herbivore tasks. That is so interesting, actually. Cool. Okay, I'm not sure if I'm doing something wrong, but I'm catching red chins and maybe they made it so when you're catching chins, it takes longer. Of course, I just needed to complain. There it is. We got it. Moonlight antelopes are amazing money right now. And this is one of the things I actually want to check. Okay, this is just to test the prices. I'm not that thirsty for money, so I'm not going to like panic sell this 9,000 for an antler. From one moonlight antelope, we get... 12k that seems quite good i'm not gonna lie i'm not gonna sell all of this right now i don't want to do that uh, but that is really interesting and that's like quite a lot of money actually the only thing is whenever you're hunting antelopes you get this reward so quickly you could catch like three and you get it Pyre fox. Okay, that's the first time we're gonna be hunting pyre foxes. I don't know how good those are gonna be. All right, I think out of all the tasks, the pyre fox one is by far the slowest. You have one little trap here. It takes forever and uh, a little bit dog shit, let me tell you. This guy wants me to hunt a great chinchompa. Wait, can I just switch back to this? Oh, never mind. It's still a pyre fox. I see... So there we go, I just finished this expert one. It's only tier 2, so we're just gonna go ahead and open it for some loot. And now I can do herbivore, perfect. If I speak to this guy, he should hopefully give me the whistle right now. There's the whistle blueprint, I believe I can just right click craft on it. We now have a basic Quetzal whistle. If I signal it, it has no charges. If I check it, it has no charges. If I rumor on it, we are currently hunting Firefox, which is not what we want to do. The way we recharge this is by having meat. So I can go ahead and empty this and I can recharge it. And there we go. It now has some charges. Red chins definitely take the longest. 250 before I found my chinchompa tuft. 
All right, so I had a little bit of time to enjoy the rumors. Right now we're on 22 and I've made up a plan. I'm going to be doing four openings, 25 of each, simply because I don't want to miss on the loot rewards. Right now it's still fairly early in the expansion, so all the loot still holds quite decent value and I don't want to miss on all of that value by simply waiting too long. Now, I did want to take this moment to talk about the good rumors and the bad rumors. Now, by far the worst rumor is the Fox rumor when you're doing master tier ones. After that, I'd say Red Chinchompas. However, Red Chinchompas, you can compensate by actually getting decent XP while you're hunting them. And then you're also obviously getting the chins. So if you are at any need of chins in general, it's a good task. If you're a main account, it takes a very long time. Every single time I've had a Red Chinchompa rumor, it's been like 250 to 350 chins caught uh, before I finished it. And my favorite one, I do think it's either herbivore, simply because I'm working on two things at once. I still don't have a herby pet, and if you guys do not know, this account I do like to hunt pets on. Uh, so I don't have a herby pet yet, and I obviously don't have the hunter pet. So I'm kind of doing two things at once, so this is one of my favorite ones. And then also the antelopes. I really like the antelopes, they're usually really fast though, uh, but obviously every single antelope is really seriously good money right now. I'll be back with you once I have 25, and we're gonna do the very first opening. Let's see if we can get lucky we now reach the first milestone which is 25 hunter loot sacks obviously we are gonna be going for more so the next one is gonna be back to red chinchompas uh, but right now I actually want to see how much loot did I actually make from the first 25 so let's go ahead empty our inventory and open all of this up we now have 25 hunter loot sacks Let's take a look and see how much money this actually is and what kind of loot we get. We get some raw meat, we get some spear tips, we get some herbs, and we get some coins as well. Now, you may be wondering, ooh, three Quetzal feeds as well. These are the expensive parts. This is what you end up using in order to create your bird transportation methods. And these blessed bone shards are basically AFK way to train prayer. I already have a bunch of this from Perilius Moons as well. Now, what I really want to get from here is the hunter outfit pieces or a pet. Both of those would be absolutely phenomenal for this account. And as you can see, the loot is very neatly stacked. So you can just spam click your way through an entire inventory. And there it is. This is what we... Wait, wait, this is not even what I thought this would be. I got Huntsman Kit. I think I can store just all sorts of hunter supplies on this. Ooh, I didn't even know this was a thing. I'm gonna be honest. I just thought there was a uh, hunter pieces. So this is gonna come in super handy. Let's take a full look at what this exactly does. You can store very interesting items in here. For example, hunter cape. You can grab this. Uh, you can grab teasing sticks. You can grab butterfly jars. So it's pretty convenient. But I don't understand the logic behind it being unable to store bird snares or small fishing nets or rope or impling jars. Stuff like that is not storable, which I think is like like a massive miss. Uh, instead, you're supposed to be able to store a desert camo top, desert camo legs, grog head. Like nobody wants to store these items. This is like irrelevant. So a little bit of a miss there, I'd say. I'm still gonna use it. I think it's still useful, but it's just a little bit weird. Most of us are probably interested in how much money we actually made from this 25. All right, finally finished selling all of the items and we are left off with 1.67 million. However, that's not all. We also have these bones and we also have uh, these blessed bone shards. And that is also not all because these are all the side loot that we actually got whilst hunting. As you can see, 415 chins, a bunch more meat. And just like that, after selling absolutely everything we made in the first 5 hours, we only made 2.7 million. And I think this largely comes from the fact that a lot of what we are hunting really, really crashed in price. So if you did this day one, I think the money per hour would have been absolutely phenomenal. Uh, but if you're doing this right now, the money per hour is still there. It is just quite a little bit worse. However, I'm still gonna continue doing Hunter because first of all, I really enjoyed. Second of all, I really want to get either a pet or a full hunter's outfit. So we're gonna keep going here. We are looking at about 550k a GP an hour method whilst training, which is not that optimal. However, we haven't gotten any whistle enhancement in those drops or anything like rare. I'll take it back. This is the first time I actually caught a chinchompa toothed in eight chins. I've 
noticed if you want to teleport to Hunter's Guild with Max Cape, you actually just click other teleports and then you do Chinchompa teleports and then you do Hunter's Guild, which I think is a weird way to get to Hunter's Guild personally. I would hope that to be a little bit updated, uh, but that's all right. Let's continue stacking another 25 master loot sacks. Good morning. I'm currently doing a step back in order to then do three steps forward. And what I want to do is I want any of these side masters to assign me pyre foxes because they are simply by far the worst task. And if any of these three guys have it, then my master guy will never assign it. Now I have an expert task that requires me to catch a pyre fox. And this is where I will just never complete that task and just go back to master. And as you can see, I can just grab this and all of a sudden I still have my dashing cabit task. In order to get my block task, it really didn't take that long. Two of the easy ones and five of the harder ones. Consider this a bonus loot. Um, yeah, I don't really know what to expect, I'm gonna be honest, but maybe I can get something. Quetzal feed is good. Shout out to Travesta for this one. These used to be worth absolutely nothing. Uh, now they are worth quite a lot more, actually. Uh, 1.25k. If you guys don't know, you can just release this. It basically gives a bunch of health in, like, zero tick. Ladies and gentlemen, we have another antelope hoof shard. With this rumor completed, we have 25 tier 3 sacks yet again. All right, then. Let's take a look. What do we get? We're obviously going for hunter pieces and the quetzal feeds. Those are really the, the, the most things that give you profit. Um... Everything else I don't really care about. There it is, the first Guild Hunter headwear piece. This is exactly what we were going for. We are gonna wear this. It looks a bit sus. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna be using this. I'm not really sure what it does. Okay, so what this Guild Hunter headwear does, it increases the catch rate of Hunter creatures by 0.4%, and it goes up to 2.5% when wearing the full set, and there's also a higher chance to receive a rare creature, once again going up to 5% increase with the full set. Pretty interesting and definitely usable, and we have 19 left to go, let's see if we get any more pieces. 15 to go. 10. Obviously, we can get a pet as well, which would, which would be huge. And this is the first enhanced Quetzal Whistle uh, blueprint that we get on the account. Uh, it took us nearly 50 uh, tier 3 sacks. And uh, I don't know how much this goes for. We're going to try to sell it because I don't really need um, the blueprint myself. Because I just use my Hunter Cape to teleport to the guild. Uh, but we have 3, 2, 1 and done. Beautiful. Okay, so looks like Quetzal feeds are going down. 39k per one right now. We're gonna keep selling until they stabilize. The Quetzal feeds sold. Got 772k out of those. That's actually quite a lot. And then obviously these enhanced Quetzal blueprint. It's kind of hard to say. I think the price is at around 300k. Let's try to sell it for 250 and see if it sells. It insta sold for 263k. I could probably slow sell this for a little bit more. So you can immediately see how this 5 hours, which is by the way the approximate amount of time it takes you to complete 25 sacks, uh, these 5 hours are gonna be probably a little bit better. So there it is. 2.1 million just from the sex alone, which is actually very solid. And now we're also going to sell all of the side loot that we gathered. It's actually crazy how Sunlight Moths are now insta-selling for 1.2, which is actually a very good price for how fast those are to catch. And there we go, just like that, we sold all of our side product again and got 1.38 million out of it. Combine all of that together, and this time around, we actually made 3.5 million in 5 hours, so pretty profitable, actually. And let's go over very quick statistics for this 5-hour session. We ended up making about 700k per hour profit. In total, we made 3.5 million. We're now up to 14.4 million Hunter XP, uh, which leaves us with about 92k XP per hour method, which actually seems a little bit on the high end. This time around, without foxes on the menu, the 25 was much, much faster. It ended up taking me three hours to complete, and we got about 322k XP in total, so averaging out at about 107k XP per hour. Uh, let's get right into opening. Uh, obviously, Quetzal feeds are our top priority at the moment, and we also want to get Hunter pieces, and obviously, pet would be phenomenal as well, so there it is. That's a Guild Hunter top. That is the second piece of the set. It looks a bit scuffed, but we are going to absolutely wear it, 
and we still have 16 to go beautiful my goal by the way is i tend to really like to go for pet hunting in this game and for some reason i really enjoy skilling pet hunting um but there it is perfected quetzal whistle blueprint i don't think we got perfected one last time so this could be worth a lot of money pretty excited to be selling that out only 13 quetzal seeds though not a lot of quetzal seeds uh, happening right now seven left to go just a little bit more to go and we get enhanced quetzal whistle blueprint so we got the perfected we got the enhanced again i don't really need it for my whistle uh so i'm not really too worried about it i do need to bank it let's bank this uh, so I'm not really too worried about it. We get maple logs there, we get nothing there, more logs there, and I need one more inventory space. How about we get rid of a knife? And boom. What a beautiful opening here. Uh, so we're gonna go ahead and sell these first. The first thing I'm interested in is what is the price of Quetzal feed right now? So every time I just buy one and I like to see the price of it, we are down to 21.4. Uh, 21 for 80 as you can see throughout the course of the video that is the reason why we're doing 25 at a time these used to be 50k now they're down to 21k which is still i think a solid price all right so we have sold all the generic loot for about 1.38 million and then for the unique loot we sold perfected quetzal whistle blueprint for exactly 300k which i think is a solid price and we sold enhanced quetzal whistle blueprint for 101 K, uh, giving us a total of 1.78 million loot without any of the unique drops. And after selling all of the other loot, we are left off with about 555k, which makes a lot of sense, simply because it took me much less time to complete this 25, so we made 2341k in this 3 hour session, which I think is pretty solid. Doing some very basic quick math, we made approximately 780k an hour during that session. That being said, I do believe it is now time to do the fourth session and see how that goes. Ladies and gentlemen, we've gone ahead and uh, we've done it, we've done it. There it is, this is gonna be technically 100th Master Rumor. Very quick statistics, this took me approximately 4 hours and we ended up getting again 322k experience in those 4 hours, meaning that in 1 hour we made approximately 80k XP per hour. Now let's go ahead and take a look at how much money we actually made. And again, we're hoping for a pet, we're hoping for... Um, obviously the quetzal feeds and we are also hoping for uh hunter pieces we already opened 10 with uh, just about nothing oh surely surely oh we didn't get it we didn't get it uh let's run to the grand exchange sell everything it's exactly how much we made we are down to 18.6 right now so it keeps going down Ended up insta-selling it for a little bit less because it took a very long time to sell. So I actually ended up just selling it for 13.4. So somebody merges me a little bit. It appears that without any uniques in that 4-hour session, we made almost 1.1 million. Dude, these Moonlight Antlers are going for a lot, actually. And after selling everything that we banked from just random loot, we actually made a 1.6 million on top of that, which is actually very decent. So that bumps up that session all the way up to 2.7 mil. So even though we didn't actually get any uniques or anything cool, it still averaged out to be about 691k GP per hour. So honestly, not too bad. In conclusion, this has been a very fun video to record. So let's go over the final set of statistics. The total amount of profit we made is 11.6 million and the whole process took me approximately 17 hours to complete. I did spend this challenge across multiple days so you guys could actually see the difference in the items as I'm selling them how the market really started collapsing. You can see the difference in Quetzal feed going all the way from 50k all the way down to 13k. Now this video wasn't here only for the money side of things. We also gained very decent amount of XP. I started this challenge on 13.5 million hunter XP. I ended it on 15.0 I guess 15.1 however you want to call it. So we actually made over 1.5 million XP but if you were to just straight up average our hunter xp per hour across the entire video we would have been netting around 90 to 91 k hunter xp per hour so not the fastest but also not the slowest it's definitely noticeable and it definitely depends what kind of rumors you're getting i can definitely
definitely feel the difference when I'm getting red chins or when I'm getting some moths, for example. And on top of everything, on top of all the loot, all the XP, we also went home with Guild Hunter headwear and Guild Hunter top, getting two pieces of that completed, and also Huntsman kit, which are really cool rewards. Not only that, we also have some blessed bone shards and sun kissed bones. Some of these are from the loot from 100 Peril Moons video as well. I haven't properly kept track of those, but again, this is some passive player XP that you can work towards. So that is going to be it, I think, for this video. If you guys made it this far, consider liking the video. It helps me out big time. Maybe even consider subscribing. And again, I do hope this helped somebody out. If you have been thinking about giving master contracts a shot, I'll catch you again very soon with another video. Have a good one and bye-bye.